COVID in the US in December. This is actually pretty interesting. Just saw this um, last night. It's very interesting how this is portrayed, actually. So let's uh, set up the desktop here. So this is a NPR report that says coronavirus was in U.S. weeks earlier than previously known. Study says, let's crap, what is this? Sorry, there we go. Very interesting how they say that. Coronavirus was in U.S. weeks earlier than previously known, study says. Now, why is it so interesting to me that this is the way they said it? Because the study basically says that there was not a few coronavirus cases, but essentially says that there were millions of cases in the United States. But the way that they say it is just coronavirus was in the U.S. weeks earlier than previously known. All right, so let's take a look. Coronavirus was present in the U.S. weeks earlier and before cases in China were publicly identified. There's a link to the study, which we can take a look at. They were first identified in Wuhan, but it wasn't until about January 20th that the first confirmed COVID case in the U.S. was found. Well, that's actually when it was reported to the public. It was a few days before that that it was found. Um, then it says that uh, coronavirus had infected people earlier. That's true. So let's bring up the timeline of COVID stuff. So I have one COVID timeline for America, and I have one COVID timeline for China, which also has a few smaller things like France and that kind of thing. So let's bring over that one. This is the China. This is the China timeline. Is it? No, sorry. Is that the, sorry, that's the U.S. one. So this is the China one. They're a little bit similar, but the China one obviously is focused a little bit more on China. And so it has a few... U.S. things on here. Originally, when I started doing the U.S. timeline, because it they were so much later than China, I started adding their events down here. So this bottom part has a bunch of American uh, events, but actually this has all been moved over to another timeline, so I can actually just delete these. I've just been too lazy to go through and delete them all. So really, it's just above this line that we want to focus on. These are the China events. So that will kind of help us to go through this. So January 20th is what they're saying. So remember, this is the U.S. It's actually the 19th that it was reported, not the 20th. So at the time, that's what they were telling us was the first case in the United States was the 19th of January. Later, uh, they said that it was the 7th of January. And then later, it actually turned out that it's the 2nd of January. Actually, I should just bring this back since I'm talking about America. So this is the U.S. one. So the 2nd of January um, has, I believe it's six cases reported in Ohio. Uh, so if you are on my Patreon, Subscribestar, or PayPal, you have access to this. You can get all the, the links and everything, all the sources. Um, but basically, uh, basically this, this uh, time, the 2nd, was when they had six cases, and that's all that they ever uh, disclosed. But now this study is saying that weeks earlier there was cases. So let's take a look at what that means. Blah, blah, blah. It also shows the virus's presence in U.S. communities likely didn't start with the first case identified in January. I mean, this is a ridiculous sentence. It doesn't show that it likely blah, blah, blah. It proves that this is totally not correct. It's just interesting how lightly they state this. Uh, so they analyzed blood donations in nine states. Okay, here's the key part. 
they found evidence of coronavirus antibodies in 106 out of 7,389 blood donations. And the time that these blood donations happened was December 13th through January 17th. So there's, uh, if we look at the actual study, it doesn't break it down by day. So we have to assume that starting on December 13th, they were finding um, coronavirus antibodies. So if we take a look at the uh, percentage here, right, we can, we can uh, just divide it. Uh, maybe I should just use a calculator. So if we go 106 divided by 7389 times 100, that means that this percent of the American population, according to this study, had already gotten COVID-19 by latest January 17th, but as early as December 13th, and probably even earlier. So if we look up the population of the U.S., um, and multiply it by that percent, the headline of this should be 4.7 million people in the United States had already gotten COVID-19 by December through January 17th, 2019 through 2020. That's what the headline should be. So now when we go back up to the top, we go, coronavirus was here. It was in the U.S. Sorry, not here, but it was in the U.S. weeks earlier. I mean, shouldn't that say the U.S. had at least four and a half million cases of coronavirus somewhere between January, uh, December 13th and January 17th? Let's go on. So they uh, tested California, Oregon, Washington. They were already finding uh, antibodies in the first three days. Um, blah, 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 blah. Widespread community transmission in the U.S. was unlikely until late February, the authors said. What are you talking about? You, you already found many cases. So... Uh, you know, so worst case scenario, we're looking at four to five million. Um, so here's the actual thing referenced there, blah, blah, blah. Nine states. So here's the nine states, California, Connecticut, Iowa, Massachusetts, Michigan, Oregon, Rhode Island, Washington, and Wisconsin. These findings suggest that uh, the SARS COVID virus may have been introduced into the U.S. prior to January 19th. They suggest that. All right, blah, 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 blah. Subsequent reports have identified a patient with confirmed COVID hospitalizations in Wuhan with symptom onset as early as December 1st. Yeah, this is from that Lancet study. In the U.S., the first infection was reported, yeah, January 19th. I don't know why this says 20th. This is wrong. January 19th is correct. Blah, blah, blah. Onset of around January 14th. So, again, this study... This page is just a very interesting to me, the way that they say this, because even if you only take the first three days, right, the first three days worth of testing, you're still talking about a huge number of people that had COVID in the United States way earlier than they admitted. I mean, that's like literally over a month before that. So I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, the U.S. lied and people died. I'm not going to do all that stuff, even though, um, you know, there's there's just so much evidence that they've been doing that. What I am going to say, though, is that when people continuously say, oh, this all came from China, but we keep getting this new information of other places 
uh, saying that they had it earlier and earlier. My only thoughts here are, well, you can say that the earliest place that it was identified was China. It may very well have come from China, but we need to chase the facts and the facts keep coming out and they keep going earlier and earlier in other countries. So, um, you know, I don't think that that's too much to ask. Yeah, so here's the breakdown. Number of tested. This is, looks very weird. Oh, it's their formatting. Number of tested. Uh, number of tested, 7,389. Uh, reactive percent of tested is 1.4, like we said. It's actually 1.434. It's at Um So, again, that's very loosely saying that it's that much. But here's the interesting thing. The percent that was, uh, the percent of tested in the first three days was actually 2%, right? This is why I say at least that amount, because if it were 2%, then that means we would be talking about over six and a half million cases. So this study basically says that there were somewhere between 4.7 and 6.6 .6 million cases in the United States as of December 13th, 2019. So very, very interesting. Something to keep an eye on when people keep telling you all this information and writing these, uh, these headlines that say, Coronavirus was in U.S. weeks earlier than previously known, study says. Wow, that sounds very boring, doesn't it? Nothing to see here. Very, very boring. And then we're going to contrast that with a with an article about uh, about China. Okay, so that is uh, those are my thoughts on this NPR report. It's just very interesting how they they put that. 